We are here at the Google Lounge at the Republican National Convention with FreedomWorks' Matt Kibbe. Um, and I know that uh, you guys came out with a really strong statement um, supporting Paul Ryan as the vice presidential pick. Um, just If you could just elaborate a little bit more on your thoughts on that. Yeah, I really think when the Republicans chose to add Paul Ryan to the top of the ticket, it not only represented a good choice that I didn't see coming, um, because I do think Paul Ryan, whatever his flaws may be, represents the idea that we should balance the budget, represents the idea that we have to do something about entitlements. Now the entire party owns that. Now every candidate running for office, including the top, very top of the ticket, have to get comfortable defending the positive reform ideas that Paul Ryan has talked about. I think that's an important strategic difference. I think it's an important substantive difference from where we were before that choice was made. So that's why I'm so enthusiastic about the choice. And that it sort of forces the Republican ticket to keep the conversation on serious topics. Right. So Democrats were going to demagogue on Medicare. They were going to accuse every Republican of pushing Graham off the cliff. The only way to fight that is to respond to it, to get comfortable with the idea of defending Medicare reform, like Chris Christie did last night, like Paul Ryan has done in his town hall meetings in his union-leaning, Democrat-leaning district back home in Wisconsin. Okay, and now I know there's um, a lot of uh, a lot of people supported uh, various presidential candidates during this this past year or so, and there's still some frustration out there. I still see some elements saying, "Well, I'm going to not vote or vote for a third party." What are, what are your thoughts on where conservatives need to be voting in the presidential race this year? Third parties lose. If you want to defeat Barack Obama, you only have one choice now, but you don't have to put all of your faith in Mitt Romney and, and just hope that he does the right thing once he's elected, all of these Senate seats, like here in Florida, like in Ohio, all of these battlegrounds where the Tea Party movement had such an impact in 2010, we are rebuilding a Senate so that we're going to drive legislation from the bottom up. We're going to have guys like Jeff Flake in the U.S. Senate, guys like uh, Josh Mandel, Connie Mack, add them to the current Tea Party caucus, guys like Ted Cruz. This is substantially different than everything we had in the past, and we all believe in bottom-up legislation. We think the Senate should pass a budget. So if the new Senate, the Republican-controlled Senate, the Senate filled with ideas, passes a budget that balances from the bottom up, expect, expect, expect Mitt Romney to sign that bill. Okay, I agree 100%. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of the convention. Thank you.